Hi lovers, welcome back to my channel. I literally haven't said that in some months, more than a few months. Welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you all. Um, yeah, so today I guess it's a Christmas miracle to be filming a video and back on YouTube. But don't quote me on that because YouTube is a lot of work and listen, we have a real world outside of this. Before we even start this makeup look, which really is a get ready with me using the new products that I've picked up since we started quarantine, since back in the summer, that I literally have not really used that much. I have used some of them, but not all of them. But yeah, just walking you through a new way that I do my face now and get ready with me, life updates here and there, all of that. But before we get into this, I want us to cheers to 2020 and going into 2021. Now this is a cup full of Baileys and some Hennessy, okay? <laughs> um, it's Christmas and if you're African or foreign, you know that Baileys is a staple in your household during the holidays. So I want us to cheers to 2020. It almost took us out. It almost took us out, but we're still standing, you know, um, I'm extremely still grateful for 2020, even though a pandemic happened and we've lost so many people in 2020, but I have to like take a look internally and in my own personal life that, you know, 2020 has still been amazing for me and my family. Um, all of us are still alive and breathing. We still have a roof over our head. We got some Baileys to drink, you know what I'm saying? Like it's been a great year, even with all of the craziness that's happening. So I'm still gonna cheers to 2020 and Cheers to 2021, come bigger, come better, come greater, much more blessings from my family to your family. Merry Christmas and let's get into this shit, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with this brand. It's called Jayla Wu. Yeah, Jayla Wu Modifying um, Foundation Primer. Well, I'm gonna have all of the um, products that I use down below so make sure you check out the description box but she right here honey is black owned business I found this cosmetic line through Drea if you know her on Instagram she is a beautiful pop pin black woman and all of her makeup looks just fire AF so when she recommended this product especially if you're super oily like me as you can tell right now um, a modifying primer really is the go-to now I haven't tried this primer this is one of the products that I got doing Black Friday because um, we buy black <laughs> every day so I picked it up but I have yet to actually try it and I also got two um, lip glosses from her which I will show at the end of the video this definitely does sit well on the skin I don't look like Casper the Ghost which is one of my biggest problems when using the Becca Cosmetics um, modifying primer is I end up looking like Casper the Ghost and we don't want that um, I still have my melanin on me I still look nice but I'm definitely dried down on my t-zone area so so far a 10 out of 10 for this i'm going to go ahead and first color correct my entire face and i'm using the la girl pro conceal in the shade reddish the reddish corrector um yeah so i have this little thing right here that literally refuses to go away I have put vitamin C, vitamin E, all the vitamins on it. Honestly, I never realized the difference color correcting does until I started actually doing it this year. And I was like, wow, okay. So there is a sense to all of this madness when it comes to color correcting. So now I'm actually gonna go ahead and conceal my eyelids. So I am going to be using the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin 24 Hour Concealer in the shade 5.5. I believe this is the last shade and I picked up the last shade just because now that we can even go into stores and match ourselves, um, I just had to do it by just looking at it. So hopefully it's the right shade and usually when it comes to things like that, I just gravitate towards picking the last shade and just hoping to God that it works out for me. So we're gonna see what this looks like. And my favorite, favorite, favorite part of this, and my favorite item that I'm going to be using today is the Jackie Ina X Anastasia Beverly Hills palette now this palette honey is 
gorgeous it is so pretty so my best friend in the whole wide world here today was able to find this palette for me online which is ironic because i was looking for this palette everywhere and i couldn't find it but somehow she was able to find it and she got it for me for my birthday i'm a cancer i'm a july 20th child and no we don't cry every single time okay we don't cry at all but yeah she was able to find me this palette and it's so pretty it's so cute she's gonna pick up this shade right here it says credit i'm gonna go ahead and use big wig over here yeah okay so this is a get ready with me and i guess get ready with me are supposed to also be life updates so um what's been new with me um well i'm back in school I'm back in school number one and um it has been a lot the struggle it's a lot um i didn't realize how much of a height maintenance it would be but it is it's very different from you know typical school since it's online but actually i've always been the kind of person that actually preferred learning online versus actually going to class um i used to take a lot of hybrid classes or online classes just because I always learned a lot better on my own and I don't know the laziness of course of all sudden like get up in the morning go to your 8 a.m. classes or 9 a.m. classes where I can literally just rather have it at home so I'm used to taking classes online but not at this level um, I'll say but so far it's been pretty good. I was supposed to also move away from Illinois. Um, if you don't know, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. And I was ready to move. I was actually supposed to be living in Spain. Um, it was all going good, all going well. Up until Corona hit. And as you all know, Spain was like one of the worst countries that had the pandemic really bad in the very beginning. I'm not sure how it is now but you know in the news like all you heard about was just the death toll in spain so the plug was pulled on that part and i'm still stuck here in the united states of america okay so then i'm gonna go back into my makeup forever matte velvet skin 24 hour concealer that's a mouthful and try to curve out my eyes just a little bit and then I'm going to go in with shook it shook insane my bad I'm sorry I'm gonna go in with shook insane right here it is the glittery purple version of big wig I'm just gonna take just a little bit of that and pack it on my eyes speaking of Jackie Ina so sis went ahead and now did herself again and now she came out with candles actually so this is from Jackie Ina's brand it's called for Mo forever mood yes forever mood and I got this actually as one of my Christmas gifts from one of my dearest friends Mekle and literally she said if I was a candle this would be me because I'm always leaving people on red it's just it smells really really good if you're looking for a Christmas gift or Valentine's Day gift or just to be generous and be kind to your girl in general get you a forever mode candle and the names she has for her candles are hilarious I love them and yeah left on red I cheated in this get ready with me using new products because i mean you just can't get new products in and not test them out like that's not fun <laughs> so i picked up this brand this way Too Faced foundation and oh my goodness y'all this is crack in a bottle i am obsessed with this foundation people used to rave about them but i never really got into it and i am literally obsessed with this foundation like i had to as you can see i've used it a couple of times like two times three times tops but i i had to and it's actually it's it's really good it's really good it's really good do you guys just oh i am obsessed with this foundation it is super gorgeous super rich it makes my melanin look amazing like do y'all see that 
like foundation wear uh, not to tilt my own orange but you know what if you don't gas yourself up what's gonna gas you up okay so then I'm still sticking with my makeup forever concealer in the shade 5.5 ready and then to set my eyes I'm actually going to be using the Laura Mercier powder in the shade honey and this came out over the summer and it's been a go-to of mine since it came out and it's actually really good if you are my skin color or a little bit lighter you know this is perfect for you and I'm first gonna try as hard as possible to press it in first before I actually start baking with it and then we're gonna put some on my nose because as you can tell my nose is hella shiny for this part I'm just gonna leave it like this I'm not too pressed about pressing the powders in to my um, my nose or my forehead or like right here with bronzers I have been going through everything trying to find the perfect bronzer for me I did find one but I'm, but I'm not gonna use it in this video I want to say for another video but I found um, Yvonne Victoria on YouTube. First of all, she's flawless. She is stunning. And in one of her videos, she actually used this. And I always thought Hula bronzers, well, first of all, before they even came out with more shades, it was ashy for us dark skin girls. We couldn't use it. But she was using the shade Toasted. And I was like, well, somewhat similar colors. So if it works for her, then it has to work for me, right? So we're gonna go ahead and try this out and see what it do and if, it, if it's gonna work. Cheekbones are snatched. Okay. Now this doesn't do justice what my other bronzer does. Actually, let me try to find it. Um, okay, so the Mented bronzer in Out of Office, amazing super gorgeous it's not giving me what that does but it's still giving me something you know what i'm saying like it's still it's still giving me something and then for my lips i'm using the kkw lip pencil in the shade nude 3 i'm actually quite obsessed with this nude um lip liner she got it really good and then for my lips today i'm going back to the j la rue um black owned um lip products and i'm first going to be using the shade marvelous marvelous because that's how i'm feeling today and just put that right in the center of my lip it's not giving me enough pop of nude that i want so i'm gonna go in to my murphy lip stick in the shade true story and just take just a little bit of that So my lashes are on. I feel like I needed to put these lashes on. They have been sitting in my little um, vanity for the longest. And I feel like it kind of goes with this makeup look today. I'm feeling very Austin Power vibes today. I don't know why, but that's just what I get from this purple eyeshadow and this big old eyelashes. And I'm not a fan of eyelashes or even big eyelashes like this, but it just really, it puts the entire look together yeah even though my eyes are like super small so then for highlight my favorite part i'm going in with my highlighter it's in the shade gold deposit by mac okay, and then i'm gonna set all of this with my urban decay all night setting spray this is literally the end of this makeup look i am hilarious with how i said this was going to be a natural look and then we ended up doing lashes some big old purple eyeshadow but hey i closed the lips it's as natural as I can get it um, and I enjoyed making this video it feels really good to sit in front of my camera again have all of these lights on and just talk and converse with y'all it is it's really good so Merry Christmas happy holidays to you from my family to your family I hope you guys had a great holiday a great Christmas a great 2020 and with all the questions going on and I will see you in my next video don't forget to like comment subscribe and also send this photo photo <laughs> and also send this video out to your mom your father Santa okay your cousin your baby daddy your baby mama your husband your wife your brother your sister your cousin's cousins your cousin's friends cousins just whatever all right so make sure that you guys like comment and subscribe to this channel I love you all so much happy holidays Merry Christmas see you in my next video bye